Well, where do I begin? I have to say, I think Robert almost comes a lot comes with this deep psychosis. To say that because consciousness and the brain exist synonymously, therefore means that the brain is causing consciousness, is kind of like saying that my house causes my car. How about new? Yet they interact from that place of independence and have some kind of a uh, exchange of energy with one another. Your thoughts are a byproduct of a correctly or relatively correctly functioning human body. So this is a problem in science that nope. has not yet been resolved whatsoever. Never heard of neurology. It will not be resolved. Are you sure about that? You mean a problem that's already been resolved and you're saying it hasn't been resolved because you haven't researched it? Because consciousness is not something that can be tested in a laboratory. Well, clearly it's you can fiddle with the brain, you can dissect the brain. Well, you don't have to dissect the brain. You, you can actually work out what affects what. You can actually test the brain. You can see what areas uh, light up in terms of activity. And that shows you which areas are functioning. You also can know from numerous examples which areas of the brain are related to, for example, communication or whatever the case may be. You can test all of that. You can prove all of that and much, much more. But there is still a lot to learn. You can even determine scientifically that there is a correlation between brain activity and consciousness. Well, it's more than a correlation as such. It is literally the function of the brain as part of the human body has as a manifest byproduct consciousness. Through the use of subjects and noticing patterns in which people's thoughts and emotions and images within their mind correspond with brainwave, you can make that link. You cannot, however, say with any kind of determined uh, conclusion that the brain, therefore, causes consciousness. Are you sure about that? Now that is precisely what we're able to confirm. There is no evidence whatsoever for anything beyond it in terms of its interactions. The mind does not cause psychic or telepathic effects. Those things have been debunked. There is no evidence for it. Even if there was, it would not disprove the, um, the functionality of the brain being effectively the mind. It still doesn't disprove it. We've been able to demonstrate that it's not simply a question of correlation, but an actual um, byproduct of the brain. Your consciousness comes from the brain. A few moments later. Consciousness is all the proof that you need to understand, to know with certainty that there is a metaphysical realm. Science is about the objective observation of the material realm. One eternity later. Well, where do I begin? The key point with Gabriel is the fact that he's been pointing out things by insisting that they must be the case. Insisting a thing is the case is not the same as proving it. To prove it, you need solid evidence, or at least to have your work coincide with what the evidence says. And I think it's worth anyone who actually cares about the facts to check out what modern science is actually saying rather than assuming it from New Age books, New Age vloggers, and the occasional article. I think you really got to check out these things to know what you're talking about. I don't claim to know fully what I'm talking about. If you can confirm Gabriel's assertions, give it a go. I think Robert almost comes a lot comes with us. Deep psychosis.